Hi guys, slam everybody. Hope you're doing well. Sad Sadik here. Thought I'd uh, do another video regarding the crazy, unpredictable, and wonderful world of backside cricket. Well, at least it's wonderful sometimes, isn't it? Not always. So today I want to talk about the Pakistan captaincy. Yes, that much loved, much hated, and very difficult job. One of the toughest jobs in the world of sport, in my opinion. So my first experience of seeing a Pakistan captain was probably, well, undoubtedly Pakistan's greatest ever captain, Imran Khan, of course. I think Pakistan were very lucky to have him as captain. And um, as I say, my first experience of watching Pakistan was uh, seeing Imran Khan captaining Pakistan against England at Headingley. Remember him running down that Kirkstall lane end, bowling absolutely brilliantly, and Pakistan went on to win the match. He captained brilliantly. His, he led his troops very well. It wasn't the strongest of Pakistan teams, but it had some great players. You could tell it was United. You could tell who was the captain. You could tell that the players were behind the skipper, which isn't always the case in Pakistan cricket. So what made him run a great captain was, as I say, he believed in his players. We all know the great story about Abdul Qadir and the selectors not being sure about him and Imran saying, no, this is my man, this is who I want. And, of course, the late Abdul Qadir became one of the greatest leg spinners ever, really. So he backed his players. Sometimes he got it right, sometimes he got it wrong. But that belief, that support he had for his players, that was epitomised by their performances more often than not. So if the captain's behind you, the captain believes you, the captain has faith in you, then you have every chance of performing. What we're seeing these days is captains for Pakistan um, picking players or being told to pick players. And uh, you can tell that the captain doesn't have much faith in some of the players that are being given to him. I use the term given because I don't actually think that uh, some of the players uh, are wanted by the current captains. One thing about Imran Khan was that the players that were picked in squads were his players. So whether that was the 1992 World Cup squad or other squads, Imran Khan was the captain, the chief selector, the coach. So it didn't matter who was the coach, Imran Khan basically led the troops. It didn't matter who was the chief selector, Imran Khan picked his squad. And of course, we know on the pitch, Imran Khan was a wonderful tactician, a great leader, an inspiration to the rest of his team. And... Um, it always helps when the captain is performing. He led from the front with bat, with ball. And, um, you know, his, his record is uh, is absolutely fantastic. So that was my first experience of seeing um, a great captain for Pakistan. It's just unfortunate that uh, we still haven't been able to uh, have another Imran Khan as captain for Pakistan. We've seen some good captains over the years. You know, I remember uh, watching Javed Miadad, who had a very astute cricketing uh, brain. He was a great cricketer. Of course, we knew that he was um, a good tactician. He knew the game of cricket inside out. He knew how to get the best out of players. But sometimes he would wind his own players up and there would be division within the dressing room, which didn't actually help. But nonetheless, Javed Miala was a great captain as well. Um, we've seen many captains ever since. You know, Wasim Akram, Wakar Yunus, Salim Malik, Shwai Malik has been captain as well. And you know, there's so many captains over the years. Over the years, we've seen Salman, but um, Miss Powell Hack, of course. So, so many of these guys were good cricketers. So many of them had good cricketing brains. I think Miss Powell Hack deserves uh, some praise as far as Pakistan captaincy is concerned, um, because he became captain of the Test team when Pakistan cricket was in the doldrums. It had been dragged through the mud by the spot fixing scandal. And uh, I think Misbah deserves some praise for the way he led the Pakistan team from that um, dark time in Pakistan cricketing history to number one in the test rankings. Um, so I think Misbah, he wasn't everyone's cup of tea in the brand of cricket that he played and the style of cricket that he played. But uh, certainly when it came to captaincy, he was, um, he was an astute leader. He was an experienced cricketer. He had a good cricketing brain. 
And um, he was somebody who united and gelled the dressing room. And um, all the players that played under him um, were, were fully behind him. So probably not in the category of Imran Khan, but nonetheless, Miss Bad deserves a lot of credit. The problems we've had with the Pakistan captaincy, I, be I believe, are that sometimes the right person has not been chosen. And the captain himself isn't to blame for that. It has to be the Pakistan cricket board because naturally they pick the captains. Uh, I think sometimes captains have been picked uh, due to favouritism, due to liking and disliking. And uh, that has not helped the dressing room environment. It hasn't helped younger players particularly. And it hasn't helped the rivals of those players. Now, we all know about the Wasim Akram and Wakar Yunus um, controversy over the years. They were the best of mates. But, um, you know, when they were on the field, whether they didn't get on at that time or not, they, they gave their all. I think um, where it went wrong with um, some captains is that uh, those players, those senior players, when that individual became captain, they remembered that, hang on, when I was captain, this guy didn't give me much support. So that carries on to, and it carries through to when their rivals become captains and they keep it in their heart that, uh, you know, wait one day, your time will come when you're captain, I'm going to get my own back at you. So these, um, this backstabbing, this this culture of, uh, you know, a lack of unity, a lack of loyalty in Pakistan cricket has, has hurt uh, the, the team and uh, the success of Pakistan cricket. Because, you know, don't get me wrong, we've had some fantastic teams over the years that have done well. But there's teams where you think that, really, that team should have been the best of its era, the best of its generation. It should have been an all-conquering team. But, by and large, because of divisions in the dressing room, because of plotting against the captain, whoever it was, um, the team didn't justify their performances or their skill levels. And there's countless examples of the great teams of the past where players have, um, you know, Pakistani players in that dressing room haven't given 100% support to the captain. It's a tough job. It's a difficult job. And um, it's a job that not many people actually want. I always remember um, speaking to a player at uh, one of the team hotels in a uh, tour of England. And um, I said to him that, well, I asked him, why was the Pakistan cricket captain job, the test captain namely, um, so coveted. Why do so many players fight over the role, Sammy? Why do so many players want that job? Why is there always infighting and jealousy um, regarding that role? And he laughed. This was an experienced guy. He'd never been captain before. And I don't think he wanted to be captain, actually. And he laughed and he looked at me in the eye and he said to me, you know why it is? It's because they get the most pay, they get the biggest hotel rooms, and they get the most daily allowance. And he said that with a straight face. So I don't know whether he was being serious or not, but it makes you wonder that these little things that are so petty, hotels, rooms, expenses, daily allowances, uh, rate of pay, You'd think that it wouldn't come to that, but that's why he was saying so many Pakistan cricketing rivalries start and end with the captaincy role. I mean, such petty things should not get in the way of who is captain, and um, it shouldn't affect the level of support that players are giving to their captain. And I'm afraid over the years, Pakistani cricketers can be accused of not giving support to their captains. I remember Shwai Malik resigning. We, you know, we've seen Yunus Khan over the years uh, not wanting the Pakistan captaincy, even when it was offered back to him. We've even seen the likes of the experienced Muhammad Yusuf like, uh, struggle as captain. And um, you know, the great the great players don't always make great captains. That's a fact. However, I personally believe that Pakistan cricket would have been in a stronger place. It would have been a better team over the years if the captaincy struggles the captaincy fiascos, the fights over captaincy um, had not happened. And, um, you know, we come to the current day. Yes, I've mentioned the likes of uh, Salman, but Shai the Fili wasn't the greatest of captains, but um, he tried to keep that dressing room together, did his best. Yunus Khan, I've mentioned. You know, all great cricketers, all wonderful cricketing brains. Yunus, of course, was the captain when uh, 
went back and won the 2009 Champions Trophy. And um, he, he wasn't the greatest of tacticians, but he had, he had a good cricketing brain. I think half the battle with the Pakistan captaincy is united the dressing room. I've often thought the Pakistan team doesn't need a captain because sometimes you see 11 captains out there all pointing in the in different direction, telling fielders to go here and there. And this whole junior and senior player culture as well hurts Pakistan cricket. Why does it always have to be one of the senior players who has to be captain? Why can't we go the way of South Africa when they appointed Graham Smith? a young captain, and, you know, South Africa enjoyed some great times, some great days under uh, Graham Smith's captaincy. He matured as a captain. He became a better player. The South African team did very well under him as well. So sometimes I think you have to take that gamble. You have to take the risk. You don't have to appoint a captain who is just the favourite of the media, the darling of the fans, or the more senior player who's played hundreds of games. Sometimes taking risks in international sport reaps rewards. And I'm afraid Pakistan Cricket Board and those that run Pakistan Cricket can be accused over the years of not picking the right people as captain, not having the best choice, playing it safe and not wanting to take a risk or gamble regarding the captaincy. And that's come back to hurt them. So we come to the modern day and uh, these captaincy Battles, these rivals, these rivalries, and um, you know, fiascos and niggly little divisions and you know, groupings are still carrying on. It's 2024, but we're still seeing that petty nature of um, you know, having little digs at each other and fighting over the captaincy. I think sometimes the board, <clears throat> excuse me, don't get it right, but um. Players need to be mature about it. You know, at the end of the day, whoever is captain has to be given full support. If, as a player, you cannot give the captain your full support, then you des- you do not deserve to be in the backstand team. Doesn't matter how big your reputation is, doesn't matter how many hundreds or fifties you've scored, or how many wickets you've taken, how many catches you've taken. If you are not providing full support in the dressing room to whoever is captain, then, as I say, you should not be picked, irrespective of whoever you are. So we've seen recently at the T20 World Cup stories of um, players not supporting the captain, um, divisions, groupings, and um, it just creates an unhealthy environment. No team spirit. Yeah, you can act as much as you want. You can go on the field and pretend that you're best mates and high-fiving each other and hugging each other. But you know, you can see between the lines that the when there are issues. And more often than not, when there are issues, Pakistan plays rubbish cricket, which they did at this T20 World Cup. So captaincy, as I've discussed over the years, it's a poison chalice in Pakistan cricket. Who should be captain now? Well, I like to think out the box. I like to think that, um, you know, you don't have to have one person captaining in all formats as Pakistan did. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Me personally, at this moment in time, I would leave Shan Masood as the test captain. I think he deserves more opportunities. I hope the PCB don't make the mistake like they did with Shaheen Shafidi of giving him one series and then um, replacing him as skipper and uh, bringing uh, Barbara Azam back. So I'd give Shan Masood the test captaincy for the foreseeable future. In T20 cricket, I would have Mohamed Rizwan as the captain. I think uh, Rizwan's got a good cricketing brain. I think um, he is somebody who's a better tactician, a better leader, better communicator than uh, Barbara Azam. And uh, in one-day format as well, I'd give the captaincy to Mohamed Rizwan as well. So my white ball skipper would be Mohamed Rizwan, and my test skipper at this moment in time would be Shan Masood. Shan's the Yorkshire County cricket captain. He's captain of the PSL. He's captain in domestic cricket. So I think he deserves a longer rope more opportunities as test captain. And um, again, as I say, Mohamed Rizwan should be the white ball captain um, because of the reasons I've already suggested. Good cricketing brain, a lot of experience behind him. We've seen him captain Multan in the PSL and do a good job. Um, I just think he's an astute tactician. He's somebody who knows the opposition well. He knows what um, is best for the Pakistan team. So in my opinion, I would 
up for him in the uh, as the white ball captain. Now, if my choices hurt somebody, if they're the choices that the Pakistan cricket board go for, if there are any players that do not want to play under Mohamed Rizwan or Shah Masood as captain, there's the door. You don't have to play. Just because you are not captain and you are not willing to give 100% to the team, then you should be shown the door. The Pakistan Cricket Board should have a word with these players who think that they should be captain and are not captain and ask them straight up, are you going to give 100%? This is the captain. Are you going to be fully behind him or not? If not, then you should not be picked. Hold your hand up and say that, yeah, I don't want to play under this guy's captaincy, and then they don't pick them. Bring a guy in who wants to give 100%, who wants to play under that captain, and um, Pakistan will be a better team. It will create a better environment. It will mean more opportunities for victories for Pakistan. Pakistan cricket is in the doldrums at the moment, um, heading downwards in all formats. And uh, the last thing Pakistan cricket needs is petty arguments between players for the captaincy. Yes, it's a tough job, as I said at the start of this video. Um, give it to the right people and Pakistan cricket, cricket will benefit. But I reiterate, anybody that doesn't want to play under those captains, whoever's picked as captain, anybody who will not give 100% to those captains, out the door. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Take care.